this is the BioWare base. So we have uh, Star Wars Old Republic, we have Mass Effect, we have Dragon Age. Okay. Show me. So, you know, Star Wars The Old Republic. Oh, I, think, I think I'm contractually obligated not to say anything else. All right. Uh, now, I, I will say, uh, if you want to take it old school, um, I, I was a huge fan of, uh, of in fact, Planet Side. Okay. Um, uh, so that, that was that was one of my favorite MMOs uh, back in the day. Wonderful. Now, what makes Star Wars The Old Republic similar to other MMOs? Well, I mean, I think you know, we don't want to throw away what works. So, uh, right. There are a lot of elements that if you are a veteran MMO gamer, you're going to recognize. Uh, we've announced a lot of those when we talk about operations in our game. It's very much a raid mechanic. It's, it's the way you get multiple groups together to do some of the highest level content in the game to give you the highest level of rewards you can find in the game. And that's something I think that MMO fans will be familiar with. And really, it's, you know, it's what they expect. Uh, our right. flashpoints are very much very specific heroic things that you're going to want to run with your party maybe several times to try and get all the really awesome loot. Um, PvP or war zones or something again that you can expect to see that you have seen in lots and lots of other uh, MMOs. We just had an epic box drop in, by the way. It went over a balcony. Pretty awesome. Uh, yeah, so that's a good stuff. But what we're trying to do that's different is uh, is bringing in uh, really Bioware storytelling. So the kind of storytelling you expect from a Bioware RPG, where you're making significant decisions for your character that actually give you a personal story that's very different from uh, from the personal story that someone else is playing the game. Uh, the same, you guys have had a very successful run with you guys as RPGs in the past few weeks. So, so were, you guys, were there more boxes out there right now with creating more feedback? Because I know right now you guys have a number of people who made us, and it's been going for a while now. And how much are you guys think from the community is on feedback into the game? Well, actually, pretty significantly. A couple of the uh, announcements that we've actually made this this week are very much based on community feedback. So, one of the things we heard loud and clear were uh, that players really want to be able to customize the appearance of their companion characters. And it was something we hotly debated within the, uh, within the design leads of the game. Um, but in the end, we decided that the community was right that, uh, that having the ability to change the way, if you're playing as a fit Sith warrior, the first companion you get is Fett. Um, and uh, being able to change the way she looks is actually pretty important to you feeling like it is virtually your custom story. So you can choose a vet and you can actually give her uh, yellow skin, red skin, she looks like, so that makes more sense than if you were a human. Um, but also, uh, we talked a little bit about our, our speeder bikes, our original vehicles. Yes. Um, we'd announced one of them at E3, um, and people got to play it hands on on Tatooine. And the feedback we heard was it feels really slow, and therefore it doesn't feel like kind of the heroic experience I expect from the Star Wars game when I get the first so we looked at that again and said, yeah, you know what, you're right. Um, personal vehicles in Star Wars need to move fast. It needs to move like the old Star Wars experience. And so not only have we up the base speed of, uh, of those vehicles, we've actually made it so that there are, there are ones that you can upgrade to that look really fast. So uh, the speeder bikes that, that you'll likely recognize from you know, the Wars movie. We have several that look kind of like that one. We've in fact put in land speeder, kind of similar to the one that Luke has uh, in episode four. So again, this is all very much based on we're putting the game out there, we're letting the community play it, and we're taking their feedback and taking it very seriously. That's that's great. Um, so now, what are you guys doing to make the game massive? Boy, uh, hopefully it's, it's uh, doing all the hard work that we're, uh, that we're putting into it. Um, you know, one of the ways in which it is massive is just the amount of content. Um, we talk a lot about the fact that it's a fully voiceover uh, and uh, something no one has ever done before. It's not just voiceover, it's voiceover in the Bioware sense of it. So when you play the game, you get hundreds of hours of unique gameplay for your class. So if you play the entire game as a Jedi Knight, you have several hundred hours of unique story. If you want to start again and play as a bounty hunter, you won't see a single different thing. So again, hundreds of hours of unique gameplay when you play that other uh, 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 Now, what are you guys doing uh, PvP wise? Yeah, how large is the bounty? I don't think we've announced a cap yet. Um, uh, we've shown a couple of different PvP war zones. Okay. Uh, so far. The one that actually we're showing hands on for the first time here at Comic Con. So people are actually checking out is our Alder War zone. We're setting it up as 8 versus 8 right now. That's mostly actually to show off all of the, the advanced classes. So you can actually see the way that both smuggler advanced classes and both trooper advanced classes. Um, and so that's the one we're showing off right now. It's an 8 versus 8. But I don't think we've put all the details about each of our four zones and what their limits and what the design for each will be. Now, what are you guys doing guild Are you guys going to have like a guild theme or some way that you can have fans or editors? So um, something that we've already announced and it's been on, on the website, uh, the ability to sort of sign up for your web guild, but the intention there is to actually pull that web guild directly into the game. 
so that when you come on day, day one, if you're part of one of those guilds, you're actually going to already be associated with your guild at launch. You'll be able to be in the game, associating with the people who you actually join our Star Wars that I'm community yes. with outside of the game the website. So it's one of the ways that we're really committed to, uh, to guilds and to that sort of social experience. It's, it's what brings people together and really kind of binds them tightly to their community within the game. We want to make sure that's supported. That's great. Now, are you guys have guild versus guild capabilities at all? Or? Well, we are certainly allowing folks to set up rivalries. Um, okay. um, and we talked a little bit about that, just to say, you know, we're a Republic Guild and you're a, an Empire Guild. We want to make sure that we can say you're a rival. There aren't, there aren't any specific in-game mechanics, though, right now that we're talking about yet. Um, okay. uh, but we certainly expect that that's the way it's going to happen. Some of the well, bigger guilds out there, um, you know, we're playing in other games, we expect them to bring their rivalries along with them into uh, into Right. Right. That's now, another question that we're uh, I wrote what kind of um, update are you guys going to do with you guys' games? Like, after game release content, I mean, you know what's coming out with the fan channel, which are you guys going to be expecting content coming in? Yeah, I, I don't think I can give you a full answer on this other than to say that, that yeah, there is absolutely going to be uh, post release content um, that, just, that just comes into the game. We want to make sure that the average player is getting more and more really, really fun stuff. But yeah, periodically there will be much larger uh, pieces that come in as well. So, so yeah, we're, we're going to try and kind of do the hybrid. Yeah. Say there will be smaller things that come in periodically, and even some features that we really, really just wanted uh, to launch. But right now we're going to hold on to and make sure that it's really positive. Right. Yeah. All right. And then, yeah, so final question. What is my favorite part of my job is playing the game. Um, uh, you know, I, I'm trying to make sure that I play each class um, all the way end to end at least once. Uh, I've done three right now. I was getting down to the wire. I need to play. It's you know, um, uh, but I, I need to know the game end to end. I need to know the classes end to end. To have you know, an intelligent discussion with the design team about what direction we're going. So that's that's really the best part of the game. Or sort of my job. That's great. Now, what's the hardest part of your job? Making hard decisions. So you know, we, we have we have all sorts of uh, you know, we actually have a list we call the Wall of Grace, and that these are all of the awesome ideas, the great designs, the little miniature designs that we really desperately want in the game, and having to be uh, you know one of the one of the you know, along with our executive producer and our game director uh, James Olin, um, being the people who actually kind of have to cut the baby in half and say that's a really awesome idea. We need to we need to hold that out because we need to make sure everything that's in the game is super. Is at the buyer level quality. So we do a lot of that in triaging, saying we want that, that'll be right after launch, or that'll be you know, a couple months after. Right, and that's great for after launch too, because then you can make the development, the game can last a lot longer as well. Exactly, but it's, it's hard because right. there are lots of things that I think, oh, but it would be so awesome if. And of course, because everyone wants to do everything in it. Exactly. For launch. Yeah. That's wonderful. Well, it's great to meet you. Yeah, well, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.